Okay, and this one we're talking about the universal chamber. So he comes in, I move. In reality, this would come in really strong. It could be low, it could be high, depending on flexibility, but better low. Now, the chamber, first part of a kick is a chamber. I can extend the foot to a front kick, come back for an inside groin, side kick, back to the knee, roundhouse kick, side kick, anything I want from that position. But you notice, do the left for me just so they can see. Notice I have this control here, bam. And then if I don't get the knee, I have the kick. And if I do the kick back to a knee, there's a knee strike. Groin kick here, back of the leg. You can go to your sweep. So all these positions start from the knee and then extend the foot out. So knee up, foot out, and you have all these different kick options, sweeps from that position. Now the reality of that happened, probably not so much because he's going to punch or attack or whatever. He said, boom, you hit, boom. So you come in here. Now this is the chance. You, maybe you do that to a new hit. You only get a couple of shots before you have to switch. But at least you have options. And it gives you a chance to train. So when you see these stands and these people doing this stuff, that's what they're doing. The knee shots into the kick. And from my point of view, it's the same presentation. I see the same initial presentation every time. That knee comes up. So same presentation. Everything goes from there. All the different directions. Insert your arm.